So in this video, I want to show you how to use Notebook LM. So Notebook LM is an, just an online research and note taking tool that's been developed by Google and it uses AI and it's the AI behind it is Google's Gemini. And by using Notebook LM, you're going to be able to leverage the power of AI to generate questions, return some answers and so forth. So once you have logged into Notebook LM and it's entirely free, you just need to create an account. Um, there is no cost associated with that. You should open up into a window like this. I have a bunch of these are my notebooks. Some of them I need to get rid of, um, but these will be where your notebooks are stored. As of this recording, this is what the interface looks like, but it can change um, as AI is, is advancing rapidly. So the first thing you want to do is once you've done some research and you've created uh, your idea of your research project, what you want to um, look into, you have bookmarked those sources or downloaded the PDFs or whatnot, you've organized it, it's now time to come in and create your notebook. So I'm just gonna do one just on just a random topic here of Japan's declining births. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new notebook. And this is what our notebook will look like. So here you'll notice you can upload Google Docs, Google Slides, websites, YouTube videos, or just paste in text. So let's just do a few things here. I just have some copy text so I can go in here to a website and click on this and then just paste in my link. This is an article dealing about population decline and global trends and I can insert that. And one thing I could do, so it first does it opens up and I would suggest that you go in here and rename your source uh, better so you can maybe kind of be, you can, you can keep track of these as you add these sources. You can also remove it. But as you notice here, it gives you a quick summary of the article. It gives you some suggested questions. You can start typing your own questions in here. Um, you can say, what are the key points? And then you can click go. It'll think for a second. And then it gives you kind of some of the key points here of what's, what's happening in that article. So then we can go back to our notebooks. You could also create a table of contents, uh, briefing documents of this. And here's your briefing document. And this is all pertaining to this one article here. Close that. Also, you want to go up here and I'm going to name my notebook. Yep. Hold on a second. Go in here and name my notebook. So now I want to add another source. And this one is also is just a, an article. I can do that as well by going in here and adding a source. Again, it's going to be a website. I can paste that in here. Insert that. And now it gives me a uh, summary about this article. You can read about it there. So this is just how you kind of add your sources. Now I want to add another source here. This time I'm going to add a YouTube video. And so if we go back here to uh, add a source, Go to YouTube, put in the source here. And here it's gonna give you kind of the whole rundown and summary of that. So when you query these things, you can usually query, just ask questions one thing per time. You also, so this is, as you ask your questions, you can add notes, 
So if you want to write a note, if you, as you kind of create these summaries, you can write a note about them to keep track, to organize. So this is just a general way of how you do things. Then you can ask questions. If I want to ask a question about this, um, uh, what is Pam's current birth rate? See if it has that in there. And it'll only query the things that you have selected. So I only have selected in this here. And so it says, however, due to the slight spin, experience low birth rates over 40 years, this prolonged period of birth rates has resulted in a shrinking population. And then it'll reference where this was in uh, the video. So as you highlight this, it'll only query these things. And unlike other AIs where it'll go out to the web and find more information, it is only using the information that you upload. So the more sources that you upload, the more robust your query can be and your answers. So then we can go back to notebook and we can create uh, study guides here, which you probably don't need a study guide, but it might help you organize your thoughts. So it came up with some quiz questions, thing, essay questions, but it also came up with a nice glossary of terms of coming from that YouTube video uh, as well. So this is how you're going to ask questions and come up with uh, scenarios to write your paper and create your podcast. So as you create these, you can create your notes, you can organize these things in a Word document if you want to, as you can export it out, just copy and paste it uh, to write your report. Then if, even if you have a new paper that you're gonna write for the class, if you upload that paper, you can create a podcast just from that. So under here, this deep dive, this is where you're gonna create this podcast. So in here, um, so as I go into customize, here I can tell the AI hosts what to kind of focus on. So I can have, just put some stuff in here. So the, I can say the podcast hosts are professionals, and our leading experts in demography, population, and statistics. Uh, when making reference, they should relate to population, culture, and world geography. The target audience is people knowledgeable in demography, population, and statistics. So I could also tell it to uh, um, focus on specific things. You know, that's real. Focus on top on topics related to Japan. So you can target this where it's going to focus on. So instead of it talking about all the things within these articles, maybe there's specific things I want the podcast to focus on. So once I've put this in, I can click generate and it's going to take a few minutes, you know, so go walk around the neighborhood, get a little exercise in and let this run. So after about five or 10 minutes, whatever it was, this uh, created this audio and the length is going to vary. This one's uh, it's actually 21 minutes, which is pretty long. Um, so they can vary in length. Sometimes they're six minutes, sometimes they're this long. So we can just give it a listen. Today, we're taking a look at uh, Japan and specifically their population decline. Ah, yeah, very interesting case study. And, you know, given your expertise in this, I think this will be a really captivating deep dive for you. Yeah. Um, I, I think what's really fascinating about Japan is that, in a lot of ways, it's a leading indicator of what a lot of developed nations are going to be facing in the coming decades. Yeah, they're kind of the canary in the coal mine, right? Exactly. They're the first ones to go through this. Yeah. So, as you can see, it creates this great little podcast. And so here we can share a link. So this is what you want to do when you, um, in your paper, you want to make it public access. So anybody can see that and then copy the link and then paste it in at the top of your paper. Um, if you want to keep the podcast to send somewhere else, you could actually just download it or change the speed if you want to change the speed, download it, or if you want to delete it and create a new one, you can do so. So that kind of gives you the overview of how to use Notebook LM. Then you can also share this notebook with people. Uh, if you have a Gmail account, you can share it 
with people. Uh, and other than that, that is how you do that. And then when you go back here, if you're gonna go click back home, you'll see that you have your notebook here and you can edit the title, you can delete it, or if you wanna come back to it, you just open it back up and you can start there. Again, remember to send uh, a screenshot of your notebook with your notes open uh, and so forth. And so if you want to uh, get rid of a note, you can just select that, delete it, delete, and so forth. It's pretty straightforward, it's pretty easy to use. So I hope you enjoy it and have fun working with it.